Hi, I'm Andrew with Customer Services at Microsoft. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Windows 10 by performing an in-place upgrade. A couple of things that you should check on your PC before we start. Ensure that you are signed in with an account that has administrative rights. Also unplug any external USB peripherals, except for your mouse, keyboard, and your network cables before starting. Also, if you have any third-party antivirus software, please disable them or uninstall them to prevent them from interfering with the update. Also note that if you are going to do this, you should have a backup copy of that third-party antivirus program or a link where you can re-download it. First, we need to visit the Microsoft website where we can download Windows 10. On the website, go ahead and click Download the Tool now. It'll ask you to run or save Media Creation Tool EXE from the Microsoft website in the bottom of the screen there. Go ahead and click Run. If you're prompted by the user account control asking you to allow the application to make changes, like you see here, go ahead and click Yes. Once the Media Creation Tool download has completed, Windows 10 setup will begin. You'll be presented with the license terms. Go ahead and click Accept. The next window will ask if you want to upgrade this PC now or if you want to create installation media. For this video, we're going to choose Upgrade Your PC Now. Go ahead and do that and click Next. After a few moments, you'll see a progress screen. Once that's done, you'll see the screen that we see here. The default setting will keep all of your personal files and restore windows. Go ahead and click Install to start the installation process. Install will automatically proceed, and during the install, the PC may restart several times. And also know that the time or duration of this may depend on a few things like internet speed. After the installation is complete, go ahead and select the account that you want to sign in with. Make sure that the account you have has administrative permissions and click Next. The next page will ask you to choose privacy settings for your device. Click I accept. The next window will introduce you to Cortana. Cortana is your digital agent, a voice control virtual assistant. Microsoft Cortana will use Bing search and data stored on your computer to make personalized recommendations. And you're all set. The in-place upgrade is complete and you may now sign in. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos.